Hey guys, it's Sam Weiss again. In the last video, we built this flying wing just to show the basics of mock-up. And in today's video, we're going to build a conventional configuration with just a main wing and stabilizing services and go through that whole process so that you guys can have a pattern to follow. I'll go through a, a lot of the details, but um, there will be more specific videos on each of the features, and I might go quicker in this video than in some of the other videos. So we'll start by adding a couple wings and sizing those the, the way I want. Let's go to geometry here. And I'm not trying too hard with the uh, geometry here, just to make a main wing so we can see what's going on. We'll add some dihedral to this one of maybe uh, 4 degrees. And often you want washout for stability at stall. We'll put in 2 degrees of washout. On this center panel, we're going to go ahead and add some control surfaces for the flaps. We'll put on some big flaps, 30% cordwise flaps. And we'll get rid of the mixing for the elevator and put it 100% to flaps. So let's see what that looks like. There, you can see our, our flaps deflected there. Cool. We'll go ahead and put ailerons on as well. Control surface check. 20% is good. Make sure the mixings with elevator off, ailerons to one. See if those look the way we want them to. Yeah. So now we have our main wing with elevators, or sorry, with flaps and ailerons. And let's go ahead and add uh, some stabilizing services. This will be our horizontal stabilizer. We'll push it back here, thin it out. Get the span down. Oops. All right, so that's looking okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little sweep so that it has a straighter trailing edge just for aesthetics not not anything else and let's go ahead and add a control surface for that one as well we'll make it a 30 percent or a full span 30 percent flat fraction and 100 percent elevator and see what that looks like perfect you can see it deflecting there just right and finally Let's add the vertical stabilizer. Call it V-stab. Now, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take the V-stab and make it a child of H-stab. So this way, or better yet, Let's create a new group. Call the group tail and make both of these inside that tail group. There's a good way to do it. And we'll put this on just the right side. Give it 90% dihedral. Now 
So we will have another video that will show how to get these aerodynamic properties. For now, I'm just making it a symmetric airfoil um, as as stabilizer surfaces, especially the vertical stabilizer, is often symmetric. Um, but we'll have another video on how to get these parameters for your lifting surface. There are a number of websites you get them from. You can also get them from Cloudfoil, which is our cloud-based full RAM CFD um, simulation for or analysis for 2D airfoils. So you can get this information from Cloudfoil or Xfoil or other tools online. And we'll have a specific video on that. So for now, I'm gonna put these uh, at location zero with relation to their group. And I'm gonna select the group, push the group back. And now I can adjust the location of the tail Oopsies, select the group here, select the location of the tail, and move both control surfaces or stabilizing surfaces without having to move them independently, which just makes it convenient as I'm adjusting things. We'll go ahead and put this down. I, I like tails with lots of sweep, so we'll put some sweep. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and set up that control surface as well. And make sure we have 100% rudder. So let's check out what that looks like. Yeah, that looks great. I could even Could even bring this down maybe a little bit. There we go. You can see that 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 just changed. All right. So now we have our airplane already started. These are all the components that currently mockup will actually analyze and give you results for. But it's also a very good tool for conceptualizing various configurations. And so there are also a number of shapes up here that we can use to, in this case, we'll use them to make a fuselage. When you have a shape, you'll notice that you have some more options. You have the position, like any of the lifting surfaces, but you also have rotations and scaling. So with this particular fuselage, I'm going to scale it along the x-axis maybe five times and then make it a little bit more narrow. Too much. Yeah, maybe something in there. So this will be the fuselage for this aircraft. And maybe what I'll do now is take a cylinder and put a boom back. In the shapes, there's some other options of geometry that you can feel free to explore. One of them for cylinders that I like to increase is the radial segments. So I'll put that up to like 30 or something. You'll notice that the shape just got real pretty compared to what it was. It was that. Um, and I'll go ahead and put it 30. It actually is helpful sometimes. If you could, you can do three and do triangles, um, four and do these rectangles or these squares, um, and so on and so forth. But we want to circle this time, so we're going to do lots. I'm going to rotate it about the z-axis by 90 degrees to get it back there and then give it, make it a little bit smaller, maybe even smaller than that. And we're going to push this back here. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that tail is where it looks right. So it's connected. There we have it. So there we have our, our fixed wing UAV. 
You can now run some analysis to see how the lift to drag is on, on this UAV or um, and how it behaves. You can set all the flat positions to see how it behaves with various flat positions. We'll go ahead right now and bring up those flaps, zero out the ailerons, zero out the rudder. We can maybe leave you know, a little elevator there. Another thing we'll quickly do, just to make it look a little nicer, is color this airplane. So we'll just choose some quick colors here, maybe maybe an orange. Now when I color the airplanes, I like to have contrast between the various surfaces so that I can see what's going on with the airplane. Um, however, you can definitely select colors that are more agreeable and based on that, you can change the lighting, which will be, we'll cover in another video, change the lighting and, and make really pretty pictures, change the, the uh, strength of the lights and all that. So there you have it, there's our fixed wing UAV. Uh, the basics of making it, how to do the control surfaces. There will be a number of other videos that, that uh, will show the details of the analysis, the details of how to group objects, all these other details. But there's your quick overview. Thanks for watching.